Okay guys, so the first step is to cover the entire body of the 12 inch Batman figure in black shoe polish. So luckily I didn't have to make the trousers for the 12 inch Batman figure. These are just uh, regular Action Man combat trousers that I bought from eBay for £2. And I thought it was a bundle of different clothing, Action Man clothing. And it only had the one pocket on this side. As you can see there. So what I've done is I've cut the pocket off another pair of the trousers. It came with a bundle and stuck it on the side. I've done that using this, if you can see that, so simple, it's basically fabric glue. And I've used the same fabric glue as you can see at the back there, just to pinch it because they were a bit too baggy. And then underneath there is actual a bit of super glue so that it sticks to the contour of the boot. I've done that on the other side as well. So that's the combat trousers now done. So this is the same material I used for the 19 inch Nightmare Batman figure and just to recap it's an old desert t-shirt and I've just used different shades of brown to make give it that weathered look. Cut it into a square, fold it in half and then wrap it around the neck and stitch into place using a bit of uh, thread and a needle and you can check how I, check out how I made that on the 19 inch Nightmare Batman tutorial ok guys so this looks a bit weird but what I've basically done is used masking tape and some paper I've taped off the whole Batman figure apart from his utility belt and as you can see there I was just spraying a bit of primer onto the belt on the front sides and back so that I can give it a custom paint job. So here I am giving the Batman utility belt a little custom paint job and you'll be able to notice just below the utility belt is the webbing belt and I didn't end up using this I ended up recycling the metal rings uh, for the 19 inch Batman uh, webbing belt that goes underneath the utility belt and you can check out how I recycled this uh, this belt shown here um, on the 19 inch and the reason for that is I ended up finding a more screen accurate uh, 12 inch size utility belt for this build so again I used some masking tape and taped off the toe caps of the boots and sprayed uh, spray paint primer onto the end of the boots and then painted over that. So obviously I couldn't tape off the little round knuckles so what I did is I got a small pot and I sprayed a bit of the primer at close range into the bottom of the pot and doing, doing that it actually pulls up into a liquid and then using a thin paintbrush I dips it into the pulled up liquid primer and paints it onto the knuckles let that dry and it just dries exactly the same as normal primer does and you're able, able then to paint over it So again, using reference photos, I'm doing the same process that I did on the 19 inch Nightmare Batman using black craft foam and a thin flat bladed screwdriver to score in the design. And then I'm, again, I'm just using super glue to glue them straight onto the combat trousers. Ok 
Okay guys, so the last part of the build for the Torvich Nightmare Batman uh, makeover is obviously the jacket. This is not obviously not Batman, but this is Gambit. I bought this off eBay and the only part I need from it is the jacket, which is a perfect match. So as I mentioned, I do not need this. So the first person to leave a comment below saying they want this, I will send this to them free of charge. It is actually a really nice figure, but I'm not a Gambit fan personally, so yeah, if you leave a comment below, first person will get this sent to them free of charge. Nice little giveaway, free gift, and yeah. So, don't need him, all I need is the jacket. As you can probably tell, I've already made a slit. When I put this onto the 12 inch Batman figure, it was a bit, bit wide around the sides. So, what I've done is I've cut a slit up the back, and I'm going to Sew it back up, but make it a little bit thinner so it fits around him nice and snug. And that's the next step. Okay guys, so I have gone ahead and cut the back and sewn it back up. I'm not too bothered about how this looks at the back because it's going to be displayed obviously from the front. and. I've rolled up the sleeves and then used a bit of thread just to stitch it together at the back so it keeps tight. I've done that on both sides. And then with the collar, it was sticking a bit too far up. Used a bit of super glue and just super glued it down on either side. And then because I've cut it up at the back, it, the jacket itself was rising up and lifting the shoulders. So I pulled it down and used a bit of super glue and super glued it to the back of his legs. Okay guys, so as I mentioned earlier in the video, I did make a belt for this and then recycled the metal rings for the 8, 19 inch Batman figure. And that is because I did ma manage to find this on eBay, which is more screen accurate. I've also been able to find a gun holster with the two straps that's very identical to the uh, screen accurate and the hot toys and it was black and I've gone ahead and painted it brown and that is the gun that came with the holster the screen at the screen used one is, is black with silver handles but I'm not too bothered about that I'm not going to go ahead and paint that I'm happy with the way that is and I've used the same green material I used on the 19 inch for the wraps I've used the same material and wrapped it around the same way. And again, off eBay, I seem to be buying a lot of things off eBay. Uh, these are just Action Man goggles that fit perfectly around his head. I use the same, same way to attach the schmag or scarf. I just stitched it around the back of his neck. And again, Action Man Googles off eBay. So that's the figure pretty much done now. The last thing I need to do is the rifle. Right now for the final part of the build. I found the actual picture of the Joker that's wrapped around the rifle in the nightmare scene on Google Images. Saved it to my laptop and then I'm using Photoshop here and I've scaled, I scaled down the picture to a smaller size and then printed it off as you can see here it has pixelated slightly but I'm not too bothered about that and then stuck to me to my desk and then again the rifle isn't accurate I can never say that word accurate um, but again I'll do for what I need it for and then what I'm going to do is wrap that around there again using reference photos wrap it around the stock of the rifle I'm going to be using some masking tape to stick it on and then I'll be using some grey or silver paint to paint the masking tape just so it looks like it's the uh, same colour tape and then that will be pretty much the 12 inch Nightmare Batman figure complete. 
Okay, so I've got some grey paint there. Uh, just put a little blob onto a scrap piece of paper. I've also added a second strip of masking tape. Again, looking at the reference photos. And the I'll be using a bit of brown material for the strap, which will wrap around there. And that will wrap around his neck so the rifle can hang. So all we've got to do next is paint the masking tape grey. Hey guys, so these are the same khaki old combat shorts that I used for the belt for the 19 inch Nightmare Batman and I'm using the same pair of shorts and all I'm going to be using this time is the long strip there along the back of the shorts I'm going to be cutting that out and using that for the strap for the rifle So here I'm just using some brown paint to give it that warm desert look and then as soon as I've finished doing that I'll glue it onto the stock of the rifle and onto the front of the rifle and that'll be the rifle sling done, ready for the final reveal. 